Welcome back to Voodoo Family Travels. I'm Greg. And I'm Val. Join us today on the Niagara Falls Adventure Tour. And I'm going to be your tour guide. You don't have to remember it. It's right here. <laughs> um, so today I'm going to be taking you through the park. So Niagara Falls is actually made of three falls. We've got our Horseshoe Falls, which is the Canadian Falls, Bridal Veil Falls, and American Falls. We voted on the name, American Falls is the best they gave us. <laughs> I didn't get to choose it. <laughs> um, so today, so you will, you will each have one of these maps on your phone. Um, and today, we are over here. So I'm gonna be taking you up to Prospect Point, where you're gonna get a really great view of the American Falls. I'll be taking you around to the Maid of the Mist. Best attraction here, beautiful, you're gonna love it. Um, there is gonna be a restroom. I have the world's smallest bladder, so I'll be joining everybody. Um, and then from there, we're gonna get on the Maid of the Mist. The ride itself is about 20 minutes. You will get wet, <laughs> but they provide really great ponchos and they've even got little cinchers, so you barely, you're barely gonna get wet. Your shoes will get the most wet of everything. Um, and once we completed this, we've got a couple people on the red tour, so you'll be going off to the trolley. I'll be walking you guys there. Everybody else, I will set you free as soon as we are done with the Maid of the Mist. Um, so I will have you guys follow me. And, um... <laughs> yeah, you don't always have that, I guess. Um, okay, so that doesn't happen every day. Um, Niagara Falls State Park was the first state park in America. Does anybody know what the first national park was? Yellowstone? Correct. <laughs> um, so, the reason that, I'm still working on this walking backward thing, so bear with me. Uh, the reason that this became a state park is a man named Olmsted came to this area and he saw the industrialization that was happening in Niagara Falls and he was not having it. So um, if you look this up, there were just buildings galore on, in the gorge there and it was ugly. There was smoke everywhere. There was just water pouring up sides. He was not having it. He wanted this place to return to its natural beauty. And so he started a movement called the Free Niagara Movement. And upon doing this, he was able to get many people on his side with this movement and thus creating the state park that is this. Um, they do now have restrictions on how tall our buildings are here because they really just want to keep it beautiful <laughs> and park-like. Um, so you'll see on the other side, there's very tall buildings on the Canadian side. Well, that's why we don't have tall buildings over here. <laughs> they want to keep it beautiful. Um, so going back to the origins of Niagara Falls. Um, Native Americans were the first ones in Niagara Falls, um, being the Iroquois Confederacy one of the oldest confederacies in the United States. <laughs> this way. <laughs> um, my apologies. <laughs> Got distracted by this. Um, so, <laughs> I'm choking up. Can I, can I let you guys all in on a secret? This is my first ever tour. Oh, <laughs> you guys are my first group. Excellent. So if I get choked up at all, this is a very large group for me to start with. <laughs> You're doing great. I've been shadowing for a couple weeks, but um, yeah, just a little scatterbrained. But um, so let me just get into a neat story that I like to tell, which would be Layla Walla. Now Layla Walla was a woman of the Iroquois tribe, and. Layla Walla was being forced to marry a man whom she didn't love. You will hear different versions of this story, by the way. This is the one I enjoy the most, though a little sad. Um, so Layla Walla decided 
that she could not marry this man. She did not love him. And on the day of her wedding, she got all dressed up, beautiful, and decided she was going to take her canoe into the Niagara River. And so she did, and she paddled on out. Layla Walla's eyes filled with tears, and those tears fell into the river. Now he knew the Thunder God sensed those tears, and he lived in a cave behind the fall. We'll go the scenic route. <laughs> um, now he knew as Layla Walla went over the falls, swept her up and took him into his cave. Layla Walla then fell in love with Hinu's son. The only thing is that Layla Walla really felt bad for leaving her people and she wanted to show them that she was still present. So Hino allowed her to take the form of the rainbows. So every time you see a rainbow at Niagara Falls, it is said to be the spirit of Layla Walla. Fun fact, the Maid of the Mist was actually originally called Layla Walla. And so Layla Walla is the Maid of the Mist. Here we have our beautiful <laughs> rapids. This is going to be the American Falls. So this water is moving at about 25 miles per hour. <laughs> very, very strong. I'm not going to try to compete with the rapids here, so we'll um, give you a chance to walk on up here and then I'm going to let you guys take a look at those beautiful falls. Um, I am here for pictures. I also have a bag full of goodies, medicine, anything you might need. So if you need anything, don't hesitate to ask. And yes, we will head on up here and I'll give you guys about 10 minutes at Costco. And when you see me wave, wave the flag, <laughs> come back.
single time she bought us book there. So, the first person to go over the falls in a barrel. Actually, it wasn't a person, it was a cat. Annie Edson Taylor. Being a 62-year-old woman, decided she wanted to go over the falls in a barrel because, well, she was widowed, she was a retired school teacher, and she was looking to hopefully get some fortune and fame out of it. Um, get into the standard part of that in a little bit, but um, she decided she was going to send her pet cat, Lagara, down the falls before she went down to see if it was safe. I don't know how that all works out, you a cat and human, a little bit different. Um, so, Lagara survived, leaving with only one life left out of those nine. Uh, I'm sure, very traumatized. Um, for then, two days later, on Annie's 63rd birthday, she took the plunge over the fall in that barrel. So, she hired the manager who told her that he found it best if she pretended to be 43 instead of 63 because nobody wanted to see a 63 year old lady. <laughs> um, so, when Annie stepped off of the bus and people saw a 63 year old woman, nobody believed it was her. They said, this lady's 43. Like, what? This is clearly an old lady. Um, and so, he ended up stealing her barrel, hiring a younger woman, and going and touring with this barrel. And Annie got left with nothing. Aww. So Annie ended up creating a similar looking barrel and sold pieces of it to try to make money. It, unfortunately, it just did not go well for Annie. Aww. But also, I guess it's karma for putting your cat in a barrel and sending it down the falls. <laughs> Um, so here, but it kept going to be a uh, <laughs> 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 um, I'll give you all, like, well, however long you need.
Yeah. 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 I don't know, we can bring it through.
Thank you again for watching Voodoo Family Travels. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our videos. There's always more to come. I'm Greg. And I'm Val. See you again soon.